हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकोस फैक्ट्री सो इन द वेरियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस द एट एनर्जिक एगोनिस्ट प्रीवियसली सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज एट एनर्जिक एंटागोनिस्ट दैट इज नाउ द ड्रग्स विच विल इनहिबिट द एगोनिस्ट एंड इट इज ऑल्सो डिवाइडेड इन टू द वेरियस पार्ट it will start with the classification and then we will discuss the drug one by one as we did earlier in the case of doubt please use the comment section do subscribe the channel for such more content and all the content provided here is free of cost so kindly share to your friends and all who are preparing for the exams so it will be proven helpful for them as well as for you so let's begin so first we will start with the classification of alpha blockers so during the antagonist alpha and beta blockers will be there so alpha blockers are classified into the variety of range so first is a non selective alpha blockers and non selective alpha blockers are again divided into two reversible irreversible so first is non selective reversible alpha blockers what are that like fentolamine tolazolin these are the two examples of reversible alpha blocker if we talk about the irreversible the none of the common phenoxybenzamide so this is the classification of non selective reversible and irreversible next is selective alpha 1 blocker and selective alpha 2 blocker two are there now what are the example of selective alpha 1 blocker like prasosin terasosin doxasosin these are the various examples alfluzoxin buna zosin tamsulo sin indoramin the uripedil and silodosin these are the various examples of alpha 1 blocker selective alpha 1 blocker what are the alpha 2 blockers yohimbin Ida, Zoxen, or Ida Zoxen. These are the various classification of alpha two selective blockers in alpha one. So this is a broad classification of the alpha blockers. Now today in this section we are going to discuss the various drugs. based on the classification where we will discuss non selective concept today in the non selective we have discussed drugs na fentolamine then uh, phenoxybenzamine today we will discuss that and in the coming sections we will discuss the selective drugs so let's begin so first drug is fentolamine now it is a reversible non selective alpha blocker we already seen in the classification it is antagonist of alpha 1 and alpha 2 receptors so whatever the activities will be done by alpha 1 and alpha 2 it will inhibit clear and there is no effect on the beta receptors now what are the effect of alpha adrenergic blockers so when you administer the fentolamine what are the effects seen first is a cardiovascular effect let's see so suppose alpha blocker is acting 
so it's blocked the alpha 2 mediated vasoconstriction so first of all the alpha 2 mediated vasoconstriction will be blocked so it will create a vasodilation as there is a vasodilation it will decrease blood pressure as the blood pressure is decreased then it will activate the baroreceptor reflexes baroreceptor reflexes are what it is a homeostatic mechanism that helps to maintain the blood pressure of the body at the near constant levels because it works by the negative feedback mechanism we have seen in the physiology na negative feedback mechanism so what it does suppose it increase there is increase in the bp then it will decrease heart rate suppose there is decrease in the bp then it will increase heart rate this is a baroreceptor reflex and as the baroreceptor reflex is activated it will reflex the sympathetic stimulation as the sympathetic stimulation is there and from the pre ganglionic neurons and post ganglionic neurons noradrenaline is released as the noradrenaline is released it will increase the heart rate it will increase the cardiac output this is the effect of alpha adrenergic blocker clear next effect baroreceptor mediated reflex sympathetic discharge again so it will increase the renin release uh, now renin will be released it will increase so it will do the nn water retention and edema this condition will occur this has the effect of alpha adrenergic blocker now next effect is what other effects and the cardiovascular effects first is nasal stuffiness will be there as it will vasodilate nasal blood vessels because the opposite as a alpha blocker as a agonist works as a nasal decongestant so phentolamine will inhibit so there will be nasal stuffiness also it will decrease the tone of radial muscles of varus so it will lead to meiosis in the section we did meiosis meiosis is a excessive contraction of pupil of eye also contraction of vas deferens and seminal vesicles it will cause ejaculation through alpha receptors so it causes failure of ejaculation oops sperm okay next is relaxation of smooth muscles of bladder trigone so what will do it will increase the flow of urine in patient with the benign prostatic hyperplasia it is a condition age related where there is a prostate gland enlargement so in such patient you can administer the drug now what are the uses in which condition you can give the phentolamine first is the diagnosis and treatment of pheochromocytoma what is pheochromocytoma it is a tumor of adrenal medulla so higher amount of epinephrine and no epinephrine is released in circulation leads to severe hypotension so when of this are released it will increase the bp so phentolamine is given when it is diagnosed with the pheochromatoma in the form of iv 5 mg phentolamine is given so if the systolic bp falls by 25 to 35 mm hg due to vasodilation then it is diagnosed as pheochromocytoma but this is not nowadays clinically useful okay because it can have both effect and for the treatment it is used in the short term control of bp and also you can give prasosin and it prevents pseudo obstruction of the bowel what is pseudo obstruction means there is a dilation of bowel without any kind of anatom anatomical obstruction so there is no anatomical cause that is known as pseudo obstruction that is one use another is to prevent skin necrosis accidental leakage of alpha 1 agonist that is not epinephrine during iv infusion so when iv is given at that time it leads to severe vasoconstriction and skin necrosis that is cell death of the skin so phentolamine causes vasodilation because already vasoconstriction is done by norepinephrine so vasodilation will be done and it prevent dermal necrosis that is skin necrosis next is hypertensive crisis during abrupt withdrawal of the clonidin because it is a hypertensive agent and cheese reaction what is cheese reaction so any person who is taking 
monoamine oxidase inhibitor and they are consuming the cheese along with it then it metabolizes and the person finds headache vomiting nausea this is a cheese reaction so in that kind of condition also you can use phentolamine then food and drug administration approved to reverse or shorten duration of soft tissue anesthesia an injection of phentolamine 1 mg and papaverin 3 to 20 mg both are combined and used in the male sexual dysfunctions or impotence impotence means failure to erect the penis or failure of erection same in this condition both of these drugs are combined and given and the combination of these drugs to be injected directly into the corpus cavernosum in the penis but complications are what so when you inject this drug you can find priapism that is prolonged erection of penis usually without any kind of sexual arousal or penile fibrosis it is a fibrous scar tissue inside penis that causes curved and painful erection in the penis or bleeding and deviation of penis so when you inject these are the adverse effect you can find or complication you can find that remember that it is injected in the combination form only now what are the adverse effects of phentolamine one is vasodilation leading to peripheral pooling of blood what is pooling of blood so it is a condition when blood is not sent back to the heart so it collects into the veins that is pooling of blood and it leads to cerebral hypoxia so patient may suffer from vertigo or fainting known as postural hypotension what is postural hypotension generally found low bp when standing up from lying position or sitting position clear next is reflex tachycardia what is reflex tachycardia so when bp decreases the heart rate increases we have seen a negative feedback so in this condition the heart beat increases to achieve the normal level of bp and the response to that is known as reflex tachycardia then failure of ejaculation and increase in the gastric acid secretions so these are the adverse effects so here phentolamine ends now the next drug we are going to discuss is phenoxy benzamine which is a non selective irreversible alpha blocker because uh, the previous drug was reversible now it forms a covalent bond with alpha 1 and alpha 2 receptors and therefore it inhibits them irreversibly and has a longer duration of action that is up to 48 hours receptor inhibition is not reversed by catecholamines because covalent bonding to the receptors as they have already the covalent bond to the receptors that's why there is no receptor inhibition next is partial blockade of histaminergic cholinergic and serotonin receptors is also observed so this type of receptors are blocked by phenoxybenzamine no effect on the beta receptors now it dilates the vein predominantly than the arteries more dilation to its worth the vein as the vein is dilated this decrease in the peripheral resistance and venous return to the heart so it shift the blood from pulmonary to systemic circulation as the blood is shifted it decreases the condition pulmonary edema and also the fluid is shifted and if orally phenoxybenzamine is given it can produce cns depression and lethargy and when iv administration is given it can produce cns stimulation due to entry through blood brain barrier into cns because it can cross the bbp next are the effects so pre synaptic alpha 2 blockade is there it will increase the renin it will increase the noradrenaline release as the noradrenaline release beta receptors are stimulated hence it increases the heart rate and cardiac output now next is pharmacokinetics how you should administer less absorption is there so it is only preferred to give iv it is not given by im or subcutaneous route iv is only preferred but it is slowly over 1 hour infusion so slow iv remember that and lipid soluble drug is there because it can cross the bbp 
Now, what are the adverse effects? Postural hypotension due to vasodilation, we have seen. So, it can even develop the tolerance, but if uh, after the chronic use. Tachycardia, because it inhibits the reuptake of noradrenaline. Nausea, vomiting, CN stimulation, meiosis, weakness, tiredness, weakness and tiredness, again. Failure of ejaculation, salt and water retention, arrhythmias, sedation and fatigue. These all are the various adverse effects of phenoxybenzamine. Now, what are the uses in which condition you can administer? First is treatment of freochromo cytom. How? It is used as a definite therapy in patient with inoperable cases. So, in which condition there is a, a chances that the patient cannot go the surgical procedures. In that you can give phenoxybenzone. Because uh, the phentolamine is also used but there is a condition. So, remember this that why phenoxybenzamine can be used. Also given for preparing the patient for surgery. Suppose surgery is done, surgery is possible, then it, uh, in that case also you can give, but it, the, the phenoxybenzamine orally two weeks prior is started before the surgery. So what are the benefits of it? It reduces the level of catalocomines in the body and it normalizes the water, body water distribution. And also it prevents the sudden fall in BP after surgery. So, this is why the two week prior phenoxybenzamine is started in the patient with the surgery. Excessive release of catalocomines during handling of tumor and surgical process leads to dangerous rise in BP. So, phenoxybenzamine reduces the severe rise in BP. So, suppose any kind of tumor is found in the BPH patients and you are giving the drug. So, at that time it inhibits the severe rise in BP. Metyrosine is given. It is a drug that is an inhibitor of tyrosine hydroxylase responsible for the synthesis of noradrenaline and epinephrine. So, you can even give the metyrosine along with the phenoxybenzamine. So, it is a combination metyrosine plus phenoxybenzamine. Clear? Next use is peripheral vascular disease like Raynaud's syndrome. It is a condition in which you feel some part of your body or area hot and cold. It is Raynaud's syndrome. Or clonidal withdrawal and cheese reaction, same we have seen to reduce the mark rise in BP. And off label it is used to control automatic hyperreflection patient with the spinal cord transaction. Spinal cord transaction is a spinal injury. So, what is autonomic hyperreflexia? It is the sudden rise in the BP. But it is Everything is associated with the spine injuries. Clear? So, this was all about today. In case of doubt, please use the comment section. And uh, these are the drugs which we have discussed as the reversible and irreversible non selective. Now, in the next session, we are going to discuss the selective. So, stay connected for the various sessions. Thank you. Have a nice day.